The views and opinions on this show are for entertainment purposes only. The only factual information is any story that has happened to AT2 are the parties involved. Other than that, go ahead and get you a drink, get you something to eat. Just relax and enjoy the show. Let's have fun. All right, y'all, let's get real. So Misa Hilton, Justin Combs' mother, has finally broken her silence. Let's go ahead and get into it, you guys. What's up, what's up, everybody, and welcome to a brand new episode of Talk the Real Deal with AT2. And yes, I'm your boy AT2. How everybody doing? How everybody living? How everybody feeling today? Uh, let me say what's up to the people before we start. Uh, what's up, Sandra? How you doing? What's up, Patricia? What's up, D Dot? What's up, Margo? Uh, shout out to Denitria. Thank you so much for working hard. I appreciate you. And don't forget about our sponsors, Inspired by Candle Company. Make sure you get your 10% off when you use my promo code AT210. Um, who else we got in the building? Oh, um, my computer ain't working. What's up, Carol? How you doing? Shout out to all my members. I love seeing my members. Uh, what's up, Keish? How you doing? What's up, everybody? Jill, Mike, I see y'all in the building. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you already have it. If it's your first time here, welcome. If it's your last time here, I still got the ad revenue on the video, so I won either way. <laughs> uh, what's up, Latricia? Thank you, Latricia. Thank you for being here. Angie, Tiffany, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, enough with the pleasantries because you know the replay crew hate when I greet everybody. So let's go ahead and get into it. So Misa has finally broke her silence. So before I play the video, I want to go ahead and tell you guys what she actually said. Let me go ahead and pull it up here. And then, of course, uh, the way it's formatted, it, it would look wrong. So I'm just going to read it here for you guys. She said... The overzealous and overtly militarized force used against my sons, just, Justin and Christian, is deplorable. If these were the sons of non-Black celebrities, they would not have handled with, uh, with the same aggression. Uh, the attempt to humiliate and terrorize these innocent young Black men is despicable. Notice he said innocent young Black men. So she's already saying, yo, they have nothing to do with this. They're innocent. It's what she doesn't. Remember, I always tell you guys, it's what they don't say. Enough is enough. Did Justin need several lasers, beams uh, from firearms pointed at his chest? Did Christian need a gun pointed at his back, uh, at the back of his head while he was handcuffed? How many times have we seen young aren't unarmed black men not make it out of these type of situations alive? My son's attorney, Jeffrey Lynchman, is investigating the excessive use of force, which was unnecessary and certainly not required by this search warrant. Um, and then she says, I'm not with the propaganda. Oh, and also she said, uh, we will fight for justice utilizing every imaginable resource. Imaginable resource. So, uh, yeah, that's what she said. And... I agree with her with watching the video. I felt like it was too much. And you know, I've been one of the people all like, okay, well, we don't know what, you know, the judge signed off on. We know there was a warrant and we know that this is a trafficking probe, but yet we don't know all the details and everything like that. But just knowing a few things, Diddy wasn't there. And then secondly, I I don't think, you know, it was a situation where they refused to, you know, cooperate or anything like that. So I don't know why they had to do it like that. I feel like they could have just knocked on the door and been like, hey, y'all need, we going to search you, pat you down and take you out back real quick while we search the house. 
And then secondly, on the other hand, I'm all like, when has a home raid been nice? Now, I've never been in a home raid, but I've seen it on TV and, you know, stuff like that. When has a home raid ever been nice? I think if you're a little kid, they they don't necessarily handcuff little kids. Let me clarify that. But um, you don't get treated nicely. So I still kind of go back and forth regarding a home raid. And again, I have to be fair. We don't know what they're really looking into. We just know that they recover weapons, which... If you have weapons and who knows if they're registered or not, that could be a reason why they did it military style. And then also, too, if they're under the impression that there might be girls in the home that are being trafficked, then this could be why they're doing it. Also, you know, D-U-R, I can just say the word, drugs. Drugs also, too. So you got a combination of all that. Usually those situations are violent. So maybe that's the interpretation they were under. Again, I don't know. But let me ask you guys. Let's do a 30-second countdown. Shut up. It's my show. We're doing a 30-second countdown. Do you guys feel that the force was... Well, hold on. Let me do this exactly first. Let me go ahead and play the video. It actually doesn't have any audio, so I can still talk to it. So this is Homeland Security pulling up. And make sure you guys hit that like button, by the way, too. Oh, honey, best. I'm sorry about that. They handcuffed your one-year-old nephew? Wow. And again, Justin and Christian are not kids. They're adults. But a one-year-old? Oh, hell no. Okay, so they're going that so that's Christian right there. And they're saying that's where they had the gun pointed at his head. I I wouldn't say that's like at the back of his head. I think the way the gun was angled. And that was supposed to show like the red laser. That circle right there. And then that's them taking out one of the workers out the home. So um, how do we feel about that? Do we feel that it was just for them to do that? Or was this excessive? Let me know in the chat. Real quick, if we can all put hearts in the chat for Honey Best, because I, I'm pretty sure that was a previous experience, but please put some hearts in the chat for her because I can't imagine a one-year-old being zip-tied. That's wild to me. But again, with these home raids, they do the, they do this kind of stuff. It's never polite. It's never something like, oh, we're just going to make sure you're okay. I mean, the way they treat the elderly during these home raids. They don't care who's in the house. If you happen to be in the home while they raiding your shit, they don't care. They really don't care. I mean, getting a knock at the door is probably the nicest that you're going to get, but they're bum rushing everything because you got to think about it. During a home raid, usually people are hiding stuff or, you know, flushing stuff down the toilet, those kind of things. So, yeah, those are, so they have to just bum rush in and then, Take everybody so they don't try to hide nothing, you know, swallow anything, flush it down the toilet. It's those kind of things that they do. Now, I hate to say it this way, ugh, but at least they're still here to tell their story. Because a lot of these situations, you know, especially when we as a people have interaction with the police, it, it doesn't always go so pleasant. Now, people are going to be like, AT2, you saying that was a pleasant experience? No, I'm not saying that was pleasant. But in reality, still having your life 
is pleasant. That's a pleasant experience. It's sad that we have to say it like that, but it's the truth. Just still having your life is a pleasant experience. Just the fact that you didn't get your ass beat is a pleasant experience. I hate to put it like that, but that's the truth. And you guys can disagree with me if you're um if you guys feel that I'm wrong, but you know, it, it yeah. It's hard putting it that way, but that's how it is. Uh, what's up, Miss Safety Alien? Erica said you're right. Thank you, Jill. Exactly. What's up, Dom Down? What's up, Raina? What's up, Shay? What's up, D-Dot? Yeah, I hate to put it like that, but best case scenario, right? Best case scenario that you just walk away and that's it. Uh, what's up, Bernetta? Miss Curiosity? Yeah. So for those of you just coming in, I'm going to go ahead and play the video again just so you guys can see what we're talking about. So Misha has released the foot, the home security footage of the whole raid in L.A. Here we go. Yes, and can we get those likes up too? Thank you, Denitria. And so those circles are just showing them pointing the gun and stuff like that. And that's Christian, that's Kim Porter's son right there. And then this is Justin, the oldest. This is Misa's son. And again, like I said, her statement is basically saying that, um, the boys are innocent. It says nothing about Diddy, which that kind of lets me know, like, okay, yeah, there definitely is something. Not that there's something with Diddy necessarily and she's incriminating him, but she's letting y'all know, like, hey, the boys ain't got nothing to do with this. They're innocent. That speaks volume to me because if anything, I feel like she would mention the dad. She'd be like, and, you know, what they're doing to Diddy is wrong, blah, blah, blah. She ain't mentioned nothing about him. She just cared about the boys. And again, Christian, a.k.a. King, she's claiming that as her son, too, as well. Um, I know uh, all the women, they kind of claim the kids as their own because they're a close, tight-knit family, as you guys already know. So when she says son, she is including Christian as well, too, who is Kim Corda's biological son. Um, uh, she will say anything to protect her sons. Okay. Oh, Miss Curiosity, let's uh, talk about that. Real quick, you guys, do you believe that the sons are innocent or do you think they probably have followed in their dad's footsteps? Let's go ahead and ask that question. Y'all saying they ain't innocent. You're a product of your environment, right, Shay? Um, and I still kind of go back with this too. I still feel in my heart. Uh, what's up, blessings? What's up, Miss Barbara? I still feel in my heart that Diddy knew about the raid going on. Nothing is giving me that this was a shock or a surprise. I feel like Diddy knew, just knowing that his boys were in LA. And then this fool had the girls with him. And then they were getting ready to board the plane and go somewhere. But then they got stopped because homeboy had, you know, drugs on him and stuff like that. So everything is giving me like, 
they knew about this in advance. This wasn't this was a surprise to us, but it necessarily wasn't a surprise to them. And then I'm going to go on extreme. Now, I have to say this is allegedly, but I'm going to have to go with the extreme. What if the boys were left in L.A. so they could hide the shit? I kind of felt, felt like that when I noticed that he still had his girls and stuff like that, but he didn't have the boys with him. I kind of felt maybe the boys were left there as like some kind of decoy, you know, or something like that. And then Diddy was going to go run off and be cool and, you know, just leave the boys there like, oh, okay, y'all can handle it. The fans going to come, you know, just play it cool, blah, blah, blah. You know, gave him like a pep talk and then he was out. I kind of felt like the boys were used as decoys. The boys were decoys. Okay, I, I'm not the only one. Put a one in the chat if you agree with that, that the boys were probably used as a decoy. Uh, Diddy's attorney knew the day before, so I'm sure he didn't know. Exactly. Exactly. There, Nothing is telling me that they didn't know anything that was going on. Definitely knew. Uh, what's up, uh, Miss, uh, Mrs. Callie? What's up, Shauna? Yeah, one. Okay. Y'all feel the same way I do. I feel like the boys are just used as decoys. There's no way in hell that he didn't know anything, just knowing that he was get, getting ready to go on a plane and all that. Because then you think about, well, if Diddy was already at the airport and stuff, who opened up the door in the Miami mansion? So somebody had had to be there. And how come we didn't see nobody bum rush the Miami residents and have anybody in handcuffs? Only in LA, we've seen people in handcuffs, but Miami, we didn't see nobody in handcuffs. Now, we did see a uh, homeboy who had the drugs on him, uh, you know, the coca and the gummies. We've seen him arrested because he had the coca and the gummies. But necessarily, we didn't see, you know, people waiting outside in handcuffs because they were doing a home raid. Like, the Miami one looked so peaceful. And again, we have not seen the footage of the Miami um Residents only the LA one. The LA one is the one where TMZ had the video of the inside and stuff like that. That wasn't the Miami one. So knowing that, I'm all like, okay, so, something is something is up with that LA residence. And I think a lot of this is prob a lot of the, the situation probably have taken place in LA or is some kind of route to LA. Which, it's funny because they always said Miami was the party house and stuff like that. But why was there two different reactions to the one in LA and, the, and then the one in Miami? Like, have y'all ever thought about that too? Like, why is there two, the way one situation was handled versus the other? Right, Shay, right. Different laws, different states. Oh, okay. So you think it was that? Well, I was just thinking too, because technically this is federal. So I don't even think that... Well, yeah, they have to coordinate with the police, obviously. But I would think that it would be the same either way because it's federal. Because do federal still follow the have to follow the same laws? I don't think they do. Do anybody work for the feds in here? Because they wanted to go in that tub. Y'all, I don't know about the tunnel. Thank you, Critical Comrades. I appreciate the sub and sharing too as well. I still have questions why it was so different. Oh, there's no... Oh, shout out to Mims. Oh, he covered it yesterday. <laughs> I feel like that's been all, all, all on TikTok about the underground tunnel and stuff like that. I don't know anything about it. Just like I say, like... I know they found weapons because it was confirmed. I don't know if the serial numbers were scratched off or if they're registered. I don't I don't know any of that, but I do know weapons were found. Now we can assume or elude, but uh I don't know anything about that. Federal um has to apply to the same laws and oh okay, thank you, Miss Barbara. Okay, they have to apply to the same laws depending on the state they they're in. Okay. See, but I would figure the law in California would be more lenient 
than the one in Miami. So I don't know if I agree with the state argument. And again, we just have a conversation, right? Uh, oh, thank you, Bryn. Yeah, definitely ask. Um, we're just having a conversation. I don't feel like it had anything to do with the state laws. I feel that something or a situation must have happened in the LA area that made the two raids different. That's what I'm assuming. And we know the LAPD got a history and stuff like that. We 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 know about that. So, you know, they don't give a damn. But uh yeah, it's just weird. It was very weird to me. It was Homeland Security being there to yeah. And again, just to clarify, um, with Homeland Security, they they have expanded their job. So they basically deal with uh, anything related to trafficking, too. So that was one of the things about it. Federals over everything. Okay. Uh... Oh, the Playboy Mansion? Oh, okay. Um, I've never heard about them having tunnels. Now, I know there's controversy about the Playboy Mansion, but I never heard anything about the tunnels, though. At least for the Playboy Mansion, I'll say that. Yeah, I, I did hear about that, that the New York home. It, it, it's so funny because that has not been reported. We didn't see any video. Well, I mean, it's been reported, but it, we didn't see any vi video of that. So it seems that that was even peaceful as well, too, compared to the one in L.A. MIA is more relaxed, um, and they have, uh, have been told the L.A. home may have crucial evidence versus... Okay, see, see, Miss Curiosity answered my question. Then, yeah, that does let me know that the L.A. home probably has more going on with it than compared to the other one. Yeah, I'm definitely getting that. And then for those of you just coming in, please hit that like button, of course, and subscribe to the channel. But here's the video. So this is the LA home raid. And this was posted by Misa. This is from the security camera. And again, Misa had wrote, the overzealous and overtly militarized force used against my sons, Justin and Christian, is deplorable. She continues, if these were the sons of a non-Black celebrity, they would not have been handled with the same aggression. The attempt to humiliate and terrorize these innocent young Black men is despicable. Enough is enough. Did Justin need several laser beams from firearms pointed at his chest? Did Christian need a gun pointed at the back of his head while he was handcuffed? How many times have we seen young un unarmed black men not make it out of these type of situations? My son's attorney, Jeffrey Lynchman, um, is investigating the excessive use of force, which was ne unnecessary and certainly not required by the search warrant. We will fight for justice utilizing every imaginable uh, resource. I'm not with the propaganda. And I also wanted to let you guys know, too, in her comment section, they are tearing her up. Um, they're definitely not nice. Uh, let me see if I can go to it. If she didn't delete it, hopefully I can. Uh, or if she turned off the comments. Oh, no, she has not. Uh, even Gossip in the City, shout out to them. They said, pretty normal stuff doing a, during a home raid. Um, another person said, you should blame their father. Another commenter said, I mean, it's a raid, not a pizza party. <laughs> Yo, these comments is ruthless. Don't let me get arrested or going to jail. I'm cussing everybody out. Uh, it said, oh, Misa, this is misplaced anger. Their father put them in this predicament. Um, and then uh, CVJ even said guns to the kid's head is, is OD, you know, going um, overboard. 
Um, then another commenter said, blame your baby daddy, not the people doing their job. Another person said, welcome to the regular world. This is how most raids are handled. Uh, they wanted special treatment because they're celebrities. Laugh out loud. This happens every day in the hood, B. So, yeah, these are all the comments that people are leaving on her thing. And, um, again, I have to go back with home raids are never nice. They're never, like, a good thing. Like, they don't go easy. I mean, we just heard from Honey Best when she said they even put my uh, one-year-old nephew in um, zip ties. They do not care. Right, Latricia, yes, yeah, Stevie J can go somewhere. And again, I still have to go back, like, I necessarily, like, and I hate saying it this way, but I don't think that this is a color thing. For me, for me, I have to say that if whatever they have on that warrant or whatever they have going on and whatever they come up with, if they do end up, you know, filing charges and stuff like that, we'll know. Now, if this is just something simple like a, um, a financial fraud or, you know, like wire fraud or something like that, then, yeah, I would think that it's excessive. But if everybody is saying that Diddy is a violent man and he does X, Y, and Z and all this stuff and he's a, a land trafficking and forcing people to do things, I can see why they would use excessive force. And like I said, if this was something light and something that was not serious, I don't see them doing all this. Honestly, they wouldn't even be trying to press charges or anything like that if it wasn't serious. You know what I mean? If it wasn't serious, I don't even think they, not pressing charges, I mean, even come to the home. I don't think they would do that unless they accidentally, but Diddy, Diddy doesn't live in the hood. He lives in Hidden Hills. They don't accidentally go to Hidden Hills, you know? They don't accidentally go to Hidden Hills and do a raid. Like, that was a purposeful. That was on purpose. Um, oh, 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 Stephanie, I lost a comment. Okay, here we go, here we go. Uh, Stephanie said, it's not a pizza party. Well, that explains a lot about what happened uh, that one time when I asked them. <laughs> <laughs> um, prior allegations, yeah. And I guess also, too, and I think for maybe some of us, because we got to take ourselves out the situation, I feel that because we already said Diddy was guilty before he has been charged, we already said Diddy is guilty. This is probably why we don't feel sorry. But I'm pretty sure there's people out there who do feel bad for Diddy, and they're all like, yeah, this was excessive. This was too much. You know what I mean? I got I got to give the other side of the coin. Where's Couture Bay at? <laughs> Shout out to Couture Bay. But I will have somebody on later. Um, and we're going to kind of, we're going to discuss Diddy, but a few other things too as well. But again, these things are not, um, uh, it's not a piece of party, like they said. Uh Let's be real, if they weren't left uh, there by their daddy, <laughs> right, uh, who was tipped off about the raid and left this, um, wouldn't have been put in the situation I said what I said. Yeah, I still put blame on Diddy. I still feel like he didn't protect the kids. Or he didn't look out for his sons. He left them, he left them there. I mean, pretty much that's what he did. Um, I tried to put up somebody comment, but then it didn't work for some reason. I'm sorry. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate that. Yeah, I always try to get bo both sides to the coin, you know. Because I know how I feel personally. Personally, I already said this man guilty. He needed to go to jail, serve his time, and stuff like that. But he has not been charged. Uh, Blessing said, um, Nisa knows what's up. Um, I'm sure she knows... She Right. And remember, she said that she was she when 
Justin had got arrested for that DUI. She said that she was going to expose everything. And she went on this rant on IG on her story. And then she never said anything and pretended like it didn't exist. So Misa knows something. She knows more than what she's saying. And again, I feel like Misa might be, um, it might be a situation with her, like, as long as the money keep coming in and I'm taken care of, I'll keep my mouth shut. As long as the money coming in and everything, I'll keep my mouth shut. And then you got to think about it because who, who does all the talking? Usually the people that used to work for Bad Boy or got cheated out some money from Diddy, you know, it's everybody who's disgruntled, right? And I'm not saying they don't have a reason not to be disgruntled, but it's usually everybody disgruntled. No one who is still connected to Diddy and has access to Diddy talks. None of them talk. Like, it's no one actively with him that's talking. Just like... um with Cassie's situation, uh, Cassie had been broke off with Diddy, got married, had a couple of kids and stuff like that. But it took for her to break off to actually say something. But again, as long as you're getting taken care of and he got you in this certain trance, then yeah, you don't say anything. And again, I think Misa is not going to talk unless some charges come down and Justin get in trouble or one of the kids. I don't think she's going to talk unless they're indicted or something like that. Now, Miss is to blame too. Well, I'm just saying. I'm not. I'm not saying. She, I, well, I'm not saying she's to blame. I'm just saying I feel like she's not going to talk unless uh, the charges go down for her sons. But when she went on that rant, and it was just last year, you guys, right? It was last year. When she went on that rant about I'm going to expose everything and I know the truth and I know where everything is hidden and all this other stuff. When she went on that rant, that let me know, oh, yeah, she knows some ish. Because you got to remember, during the time where Kim came into the picture, he was with Misa. So how did that whole thing work? You know, we kind of forget about Misa a little bit and we just all focus on Kim Porter. So we know there was some overlapping and stuff, so, just like with all Diddy relationships, there's some overlapping and stuff like that. It's a lot of overlapping, so we can't forget that. You said that bank, Latricia said that bank account went up. <laughs> It was last summer. Yeah, I thought so. Thank you, Priceless. Yeah. It was just last summer. And then she never went back, addressed it or anything like that. She just moved on. She straight up just moved on. Uh, Misa has spent the last few years... Uh, right. 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 Demonizing Diddy. You're right about that. Mmm. And still, I think we all just feel like, well, if the boys were home, why are we not looking into, you know, I'm just saying, did she have the same energy for Diddy? Like, why'd you leave the boys at home? Or is he pretending like, oh, I don't know anything. I didn't know they were coming. Again, we still don't know if Diddy was tipped off or not. I think Ethiopia got a nice check, too. Uh, Cause her tone has now changed. Oh, you think Ethiopia got a check too? That was the woman that was named as one of the defendants in the Little Rod lawsuit. She was the Motown CEO. Mm, it smells so good in here, even though I haven't lit the candle again. But uh, shout out to our friends, our sponsors, Inspired by Candle Company. Make sure you check them out. This is uh, cocoa butter, and then I have mahogany bliss, which is more of um, a male uh, smell. It's a part of the man cave collection. Uh, so shout out to Inspired By. The link is posted up on top. And also use my promo code AT210 for 10% off. Don't forget that. Uh, so who is supposedly paying all these people? Um, that uh, Green Hill lady, 
whatever her, uh, I forgot what her first name is. I want to say Roberta for some reason, but his uh, accountant is the one that's be been doing all the wire transfers and stuff. I can see that. But then again, I was thinking with wire trans, Robin, thank you. Thank you, Friday, Robin. But even I was thinking with the uh, wire transfers, those can be traced, right? So if he was doing something wrong with the wire transfers, they would know. <laughs> Thank you, G12. Usually it's with cash. Like, I know for me, I like to have cash and card on me. I've been re more recently using um, a card because I can't fight. Like, if somebody robbed me, I can't fight them because, you know, I got the ankle issue. So <laughs> I use a card. <laughs> But usually I like to carry both. But, you you know, when you're going to do your dirt, you usually carry cash. That's why you can't um, you can't deposit cash into somebody's account that's not yours because of, you know, fraud and all that stuff and hiding money and all that good stuff. You can't, well, not good stuff, but you can't do it no more. Uh, Sharifa said... Um, I mean, honestly, after age 18, Misa can't make her sons uh, not hang with Diddy. It was Christian, Justin, and Quincy's responsibility to distance himself from him. Ooh, ooh, you got a good point. And you know what? I want to say this too. Speaking of that, because you said Quincy's name. Quincy has, he's untouched in all of this. None of the lawsuits mention Quincy. They don't say that he's this or that. Uh, the only person that Quincy has an issue with, or I don't even want to say issue, is the, um, I'll be sure, his, his daddy. His daddy is the one, you know, making everything so public. But as far as Quincy, he hasn't really said anything. He's been untouched. And I think also, too, with Quincy, he's been um, in and out, you know, of the picture. He kind of does his own thing. Going to tell it all, building it. Ooh. Okay. Okay. You see that happening. Uh, Mary J. Blige is just as guilty. Oh, oh, Lord. Not Mary. Oh, no, not Mary. Dang. Of course, of course, of course. And thank you for being here. And thank you for the, uh, the super chat. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. A lot of y'all talk about Mary. Okay. Y'all y'all think Mary is gonna get in trouble? Let me do a 30 second countdown real quick. Uh do you think Mary's gonna get in trouble? Yes or no? 30 seconds. Yo, I'm really surprised by y'all answers. <laughs> okay, we got a few no's. Okay. So y'all saying, she going down. She going down. Because y'all ain't around, baby. My whole world's... Oh, Naomi Campbell. You know what? Naomi Campbell been tied to Epstein and tied to a lot of people. And how you know all these billionaires, Naomi Campbell... Like, that's crazy to me. A lot of people have been talking about Naomi Campbell. Oh, Mary, Mary will cooperate. Okay. Okay, Blessing, I got you. Okay, but yeah, Naomi Campbell. Now, that's the one that, you know, people have been talking about for a long time. Uh, yes, yeah, she was grooming. Oh, my God. Naomi been busy, busy. <laughs> damn, damn, Naomi. They, the people said they got you. 
All right, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end the show. I'm pretty sure we'll have more developments, and then if we do, we'll talk about it on the next show. So make sure you guys tune in at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna have another guest. Uh, so today's kind of gonna be like guest week. I'm gonna have different people on and stuff like that. So uh, let me know how you guys like it. But other than that, y'all deuces. See y'all later.